Where did you run off to? Hey, have you guys seen a first year girl with her already unusual appearance? What do you mean by that? A first year girl, the one with a ocular issue. Oh, what? They know? Yeah, that sounds like her. Eh? Eh? What? What? What are you talking about? Something I don't know about? Oh, this probably isn't something you'd want to hear. It's not really a happy story. Wow, rude. You shouldn't keep things from your friends. That's not what I mean, but... Anyway, why do you want to know about her? No reason. I just heard about her and got curious is all. Do you know her? Personally, no. I've seen her around, but I've never talked to her. As for what I've heard about her, I'm not sure if it's true or not. It might all just be baseless rumors. That's fine. Just tell me what you know. Are you sure you really want to know? Yeah, dude. I want to know. I want to know why. Toma looks side to side like he wants to make sure no one else is listening, even though the three of us are alone in here. Yeah? Alright. He promptly turns away from me and stares at the floor. He looks as though he's trying. He's staring into another dimension. Fine. But take what I'm about to say with a grain of salt. A first year student in class 2, female, named Usui something. Usui. Uh, I, forgot her, I forgot her name! Usui Sachi! Yeah, Usui Sachi. I only remember her family name, but she only has one eye. Wait, one eye? You mean she lost one in an accident? She didn't lose one. She only ever had one. Right in the center of her face, one big eye. Oh! So, she, so she's not a mono eye monster. So, uh, I feel bad for calling her that now. Fuck. What? You mean she was born that way? Oh, she... I don't know the details, but it seems that she was. I've only ever seen her from afar. But I really don't think that's an injury. Yeah, it looks real natural. There's really a person like that in one of the first year classes? I've never seen her or even heard about her. Not once. Gosh. Well, we are in a different year from her. But regardless, I guess she's trying too hard to stay hidden. Both from the other students and from herself. Oh, what? What do you mean? She's trying to stay hidden from herself. I told you it wasn't a happy story. Tomo takes a quick glance at Akimi. He seems worried to have said so much about Sachi around her, though it's not like I forced him to tell me. Yesterday he avoided the subject of the school's celebrities. Was that because he didn't want to talk about Sachi? That's all I've heard. But she does have, she does have a startling appearance. She's definitely not normal. Maybe she's creepy. Maybe not. But you have to admit that it at the very least, she's unusual. She's fascinating to some and scary to others. I'm sure there are plenty more who find her disturbing. Dot dot dot. From what I hear, she's always covered in wounds. It's hard to believe they're all accidental, considering how many she has. Aww. So in that so in that case, could they be from someone beating her up? Uh, that's not good. Wait, I gotta move my hand. It's in an uncomfortable position right now. Okay. 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 Let's continue. If someone at her home is hurting her, I couldn't tell you. But there's a real possibility that she's being bullied at school. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. Uh. Dot, dot, dot. Could that be it? For I, was, for I wasn't sure what caused all her injuries, but thinking back, what Tom was saying makes sense. Doesn't anyone try to protect her? I told you. All I know is rumors, not details. But... But? There's another student who's also a little famous. And I think she's the one responsible for bullying the girl. Oh shoot! Let's gang her! Let's bully the bully! It's not Rui-chan, is it? Oh shoot, I, I mix up the voices again? This catches me off guard. Akimi, normally so loud, speaks in a hushed tone. Now that I think about it, she's been abnormally quiet the whole time. Tomo's been telling us about Sachi. 
I always figured Akimi would be the first to den denounce bullying whenever she sees it, but... Do you know her? I wouldn't say we know her, per se. We just ran into her several times during middle school. Does that mean they know her? Akimi seems to be staring into space now, I think. Thinking. My, my bad. Anyway, whether or not we know her doesn't really matter. But yes, the alleged Asai... Asai... What is that? Asai Lent. As oh, Assailant. There was a weird spacing there, but whatever. The alleged Assailant is this girl. Sadokawa Rui. I've heard that she's from a well-off household and was pampered growing up. As a result, she's very self-centered. That's the impression I got when I first met her. But there's probably more to it than that. She's really popular among other students as well. That also contributes to her behavior. Or at least I think so. I see. Thanks for telling me. I can find out the truth of this on my own later on. Well, I think I'm starting to understand more of the situation now. So, what do you think of this one-eyed one girl? As Tomo said, the fact is that Sachi is very unusual, and I'm curious to know what he thinks about her. Depending on his response, I may have to change my plans. I just told you what I think. So tell me, what were you doing during lunch? Why are you so concerned about this? All day. I didn't plan on hiding it, but I guess I couldn't have anyway. Tomo seems to understand what I was getting at. I can't fool you. You made it too obvious. As I said before, I only have trivial information. You shouldn't judge as just judge a book by her cover, so to speak. I haven't concerned myself with her until now because I didn't have any reason to. That said, if you want to help her out, you got my support. Aw oh, dang, Tomoru Tomo Tomo. I'll call you Tomo. Dang Tomo. Best wingman ever. I see. Well, thanks. I didn't think there'd be any problems, but still, I'm glad Tomo is so eager to help. I keep my face expressionless, but I breathe an internal sigh of relief. Wait, wait! Did you actually meet this girl, Makun? Akimi quickly returns to her previous loud demeanor. Yeah, I did. No fair! I wanted to make friends with this girl, too. Raccoon, introduce me. <laughs> yep, Kimmy's back to her old self. The way she was acting before was so unlike her. She seemed worried when Sad Sadokawa and her bullying came up. But now it's like she wasn't even here for that part of the conversation. I guess she was bullied herself by this Sadokawa. At least I don't have to worry about Akimi being nice to Sachi. If they ever did meet, she's so damn friendly. I'm not sure how I would do that. I mean, I'm not even really friends with her. Um. Come on, what are you trying to say? I mean, it's just, she's not used to talking with people. And I don't think talking to someone like you would be really overwhelming for her. What's that supposed to mean? You don't, you don't want me to meet her? That's definitely not fair oh, I love this voice I gave her it's because your voice is capable of leveling buildings hey hey come on it's not like I'm going to be giving a speech to a huge audience it's no exaggeration to say I'm a professional at having super relaxed conversations with guys girls kids and even dogs cats and lizards oh gosh it's definitely an exaggeration you're intimidating with that loud voice of yours and that meeting is going to end with that girl running away in tears. Oh, <laughs> my gosh. That's right. I know these two are good people, and as much as I want to induce them to Sachi, I don't think suddenly coming by with two more people is a good idea when she barely even knows me. You gotta slide into there, dude. All easy-like. Boo. What about Telmo, then? I don't think that, that would work, either. Don't you think she'd be just a little scared... Don't you think she'd be just a little scared if two guys she doesn't really know walked up to her and started talking to her? Oh, jeez. <laughs> Sounds like a hentai. She pouts at Tomo. He's right. I don't exactly have the friendliest face. It's safest if you just meet, meet with her on your own for a little while. It's true. He's really tall. 
He always has somewhat of a strange look in his eyes. I'd probably scare her enough all my, on my own, but if I brought Tomo along, she'd probably scream and run away. Yeah, probably. Sorry, you two. Fine, I get it. I'll give you a little while. But someday, you have to introduce me. Yeah, dude. Definitely. Sure, I promise. Good luck. If you need help, just ask us. Yeah, dude. Thanks. If it comes to that, I'll gladly take your offer. Such good friends. And now my butt is aching. I must readjust it real quick. Oh, gosh. There we go. Oh. Oh. Love at first sight. Act two. Have an eye for. Wait, were we already on this act? What? The next day, lunch. I'm gonna try to find Sachi again today, but first. All right, I need some help. Let's make it quick. We're holding a war council. We're holding a war council as we're finishing up our lunches. Quick it is. What do you think is the best way to become friends with her? What makes you think I know? <laughs> I don't think Toa is the best person to ask about this kind of stuff, but becoming friends with people. He seems more content with being by himself. Okay, no, not just her. I mean in general. How do you make friends? St again, he might not be the best person for this. Didn't you have any friends at your old school? Jeez, dude, you don't have to bring it up like that. Come on. Oh, yeah, but... Then you should know, shouldn't you? <laughs> I love to I love Tobo. No, it's not like that. It's not like I had to try to make friends. I just became friends with some people without even realizing it, I guess. That's why I need advice. And that actually happens, like... You just normally draw towards people that you... May not, know, may not see as friends at first, but... You slowly draw towards them. And then just automatically become friends. That's kind of what happens to everyone. Okay, my turn now. Yay! Akimi, who had been silent up until now, suddenly shouts, startling me. Honestly, I don't think she'll have any useful advice on this subject. I want to eat my lunch, so I stay quiet and let her talk. I mean, like, she seems to know how to be friends. She seems very bubbly and active about it. Makum, the answer is simple. You just have to remember when you first met us. What? It's a little depressing if our first meeting is the only frame of reference she has. <laughs> when I met you? Yeah, because we became friends pretty easily. Of course, it's not like you could resist my fantastic charm, but still. No, at the time I was thinking, these guys are weird. <laughs> I only got to know you out of morbid curiosity. <laughs> yeah, I get that. What? That's mean. The fact that you're able to get along with us nerds means you're also weird, doesn't it? Yeah, that's basically true. I'm not denying that. Yeah. No, the night. I don't know what you're so worried about. You're more sociable than me and not as loud as Akimi. Why, why are you guys always ganging up on me? <laughs> anyway, the point is that you don't want to scare her away, right? What? Anyway, the point is that you don't want to scare her away, right? Are you sure that's my line? Yeah, pretty much. You're ignoring me again. Uh, goo. And you were going to go find her today, right? Yeah, I'm planning to. But I want to eat my lunch here. Last time I met her, having food with me just got in the way. Besides, I don't want to spend the entire lunch break with her and leave these two hanging. Are you sure you can't stand being away from us? Oh, dude. Every moment away from you, it aches my heart. Sometimes I think this guy can read minds. He really doesn't look it, but he does care about other people. I think I'll manage. I'm more worried about leaving you alone with Akimi. Don't remind me. I do like having someone else around who can keep this fool in check. <laughs> Uh, what did you just call me? I wonder if I should even go. You sure you can keep her in check on your own if I'm not here? Then again, 
Sachi should be finishing up her lunch soon. It's weird that you know this. I've been finishing up my... I've been finishing up all my... Oh, my voice. I've been finishing up my own lunch in a hurry as we are... We are talking as well. Since Sachi's eating alone, she probably won't take it long to finish her food. Sachi? Is that the one-eyed girl? Come to think of it, I remember her whole name. Alright, Usui Sachi. Sachi? Huh. Well, she be Sachan then. When you finally introduce her to me, I'll call her Sachan. That reminds me, when I first met Akimi, she immediately gave me the nickname Makun. She didn't seem to care that I'd only known her for about a minute. Not that I dislike her, but the speed at which she gets close to people is a bit unsettling, to say the least. Yeah, probably. You're deciding on a nickname for her before you even met her? Well, I'm not the one who's going to go meet her. Makun, hurry up and induce her to us so I don't have to worry about befriending her on my own. Yeah, yeah, I get it. In that case, I better hurry so Akimi doesn't have to think too hard and risk shorting out her brain. My brain is going to be short out. My brain isn't going to short out. Hey, wait a minute. Good luck. Thanks. I glanced at the whining Akimi before packing up my lunch and leaving the classroom. Of course, there's no guarantee I'll actually f I actually will find her. Sachi is probably just finishing her lunch by now, and I'm sure she'll go somewhere else when she's done. There's also the possibility that she chose to eat somewhere else in order to avoid me. Probably. I guess I won't know until I go, though. Oh, hey, there she is. All right, she's here after all. Same place, same fright and luck. Hey, how's it going? Hello. Is she on guard again in this time? She seems calmer than she did yesterday. It looks like she just finished her lunch. Her lunchbox is closed. Now what do I do? I suppose I should think of something to say, first of all. You should have done that on your way here, dude. Um, I'm not trying to scare you or anything. I just want to be friends, you know? <laughs> friends? Yes. Friends. You know, like the hit show. Her darting eye tells me that I still don't have her trust yet. The only thing I can tell her for sure is that she's suspicious of me. Yeah. Do you not want me here? You don't have to leave, but... In that case, can I talk with you for the rest of the lunch break? Uh, okay. Oh yeah. Making progress. Great. She hasn't rejected me yet. Yet. Alright, thanks. I sit down on the stairs next to her. Same as yesterday. What were we talking about yesterday? Alright, something about books. Um, yeah, books. You like reading books, right? Do you read manga and stuff? I, I like reading novels. Mostly, just novels. I see. So you like manga then? No, I, I like them. It's just, uh, I don't have any money for manga. Novels either. I borrow books from the library. School's library. I mean, they don't have manga. <laughs> You're making her uncomfortable, dude. So that's it. Hey, if you want, I can lend you some of my manga. I have a few novels too, not just manga. But I figure that she'd be more interested in what she hasn't gotten as much of a chance to read. Huh? Um, are, are you sure? Yep. What genres do you like? I mean, I don't have a ton. But my collection's not too small either. I can lend you some of my favorites. Is it really okay? You shouldn't go out of your way for me. Oh, why not, dude? Not that it doesn't hurt to help. I said it's fine. It's really not a big deal. I'm just happy we have something in common. Yeah, something as vague as reading. I, I, I see. Thank you very much. Oh, she's got the smile. Oh my gosh, that's so lovely. Um, um. Um, screenshot. I, I want to. I'll take a screen capture of this. I, I love that face. Clickety. Yeah. There we go. If you have something you want to read, let me know. What genres do you like? Any genre is fine. Besides, scary stories or painful ones. Aww. 